Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm going to be showing you the most beautiful ultimatum clearer you've ever seen. And here it is. It's the cast on clear ice server build that I was Terry crafting before. Now, uh, yeah, <laughs> the build's a little bit crazy. So uh, we use, this is a life variant. It's a very squishy variant. Uh, it's more squishy than the ES version, uh, than the low life version, sorry, which is still ES. But anyway, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a complete glass cannon build. It does big damage, but it's very squishy. So if you guys like that playstyle, this is the build for you. So yeah, we just scale our AoE as much as possible. And as you can see, Ultimatum has nothing on us. We basically just Omega freeze everything with every, uh, you know, attack that goes off here. Every Ice Nova is almost the size of the Ultimatum. So they just can't interact. Uh, and the only mod that you can't run is Monsters Action Speed can't be, uh, like, I don't know, higher than base value, whatever the mod is that lets monsters not get, like, chilled and slowed and all that. So, yeah, that is, uh, anything you need to avoid, but this build is really good for ultimatum, guys. Uh, I really wasn't stressed at all, and it's just like, my god, it was so nice. Like, so, so nice to play this build, very refreshing, very different, um, but yeah, again, it wasn't the right build for me because it wasn't entirely good at bossing and I wanted something that would be decent at bossing. But anyway, this is the build I was playing and it was a bunch of fun to play. If you guys are wondering how much I invested in this, into this build, I would say it was around, I think, 70 to 80 exalts. Uh, maybe a bit more, maybe a bit less, can't remember. But yeah, I'll leave the POB in the description. But the reason it was so expensive is because we were using a All's Uprising with the Hatred Reserves No Mana uh, so that we could run Zeolatry as well because I wanted the damage to uh, be okay because obviously we're not low life so we're not able to run as many auras as uh, you know as you would normally be able to run on a low life build. So yeah, if you guys want recommendations for an all content version of this build that can do bossing clear and you know everything then you want to go for an expensive variant of the ci max block version that has es on block that version is really really tanky and i would highly recommend that if you can make it work but the only problem is is that that is very very expensive to get going and you need to know exactly what you're doing with the gear you get and all of that so yeah that's the one i would recommend and if you were to ask me what well, why is it so expensive well CI with uh, with high amounts of ES and getting certain mods on the items such as as on a shield you want socketed gems reserve, fifteen um, percent mana or whatever whatever that mod is called, uh, you want that on your shield with a high amount of ES and you also want plus one level of cold skill spell gems. Now obviously you don't need all of that, but for the build to feel really really good, that's what you ideally want. But that's like an idea of something that you need on the build, which is extremely extremely expensive. Uh, and yeah, I'd hi highly recommend trying to craft this stuff with Harvest yourself, uh, even though it'll take a lot of time. It'll be turning out way cheaper. Find another build that you like and come back to it. So yeah, guys, that's all I have for you today. Uh, we've got like a metamorph kill here and that would be pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. Let me know what you think and I'll leave the POB in the description.